Well, it's been a while since I've been in here. First, it started raining a lot for a few days, and then Hurricane Hannah came, and my phone was acting up, and then my doorknob broke, and my car got a flat tire, and just, it's been one of those past months, and with all the rain, and even after it stopped raining, I just started watering every day, but last night I decided to come and I needed to check things out. What's growing? And sadly, even though I've been watering, either it was either raining or I watered every day, things have gotten worse, not better. Now I do have, these are sweet potatoes, they're growing. Um, not sure if any potatoes are under here or not. I had weeded this all this grass out and it just came right back. The summer squash, yeah, it's not, it's alive. I had a giant pumpkin growing over there. It's died. I don't even know what happened to it. I weeded last night this. This is um, beets. So a few of them, but they're all teeny. I'm just leaving them there. But... I have, there's supposed to be a giant pumpkin here, and it's, it just died, I guess. It was doing good. The sunflowers are still doing good. As you can see, the grass is doing great. Um, I had five or six little, or maybe not that many, little peas growing along the fence line. They've all disappeared. I do know there's a lot of birds, and... Last year I tried to ID this plant growing on the fence, and I know it's a wild, but it seems to be a hybrid of something. But it's mostly growing on the cedar outside uh, um, on my neighbor's land, but the birds really love it. And I was told if I had the space to let it keep growing for the birds, but there's nothing edible on it for humans. So it could be that the birds come over here and then eat the little pea plants but I mean they last time I checked they weren't like this big so they've just disappeared I thought I planted a cucumber in here but this is looking more like a zucchini this is one of the only plants that's looking halfway decent but still it's not looking the greatest um yeah I did find in one of those pots way over there like one plant that looked like it could be maybe a lettuce green but I don't know I wasn't sure I do see one little lettuce growing in this pot the, the pool but just the one and I made a decision last night after going through this and I had really been hoping that some of these plants would have really taken off with all the extra rain and the cooler temperatures and would be producing fruit. And so when I came in here and I discovered this, now I am getting a little bit of corn, one corn stalk there, one on here, but obviously I'm not gonna get much corn. Um, yeah, and I, pulled up a bunch of weeds in here last night but that's it and with all the rain we were having for a while there I couldn't really get in here to even plant seeds I tried on a couple days but yeah even my compost pile it shrunk and everything that was growing in there died so that was a failure that was just an experiment but I had planted like 10 different cucumber seeds and there's not a single living cucumber plant in here so yeah i first i thought about letting the goats in because they'll just go hogwire over this but i do have the corn and that one zucchini plant and at least the plant has a few flowers or at least one flower. i mean maybe i'll get a couple zucchini out of it so if i let the goats in all of it will go they'll eat every they'll start off with the zucchini and the corn and the sunflowers and they'll just eat 
all of it. But if I let the chickens in here and the ducks and the geese, they'll eat the bugs, they'll eat the grass. They may leave the corn alone. They may leave the zucchini alone. Especially because you got to hop up at me. There's some danger, but it's not a guaranteed loss. So, I'm going to, well, I'm going to, that, I'm going to dump in the compost pile. Um, that's from cleaning out the chicken coop the other day. And I'm just going to leave the gate open and let the chickens and geese and everybody come in here and just start cleaning this mess up and see what happens. I may give up in a few days or a week or something and let the goats in. Because if they clean everything up, I can just start a fall garden maybe. We'll see. But this is so overwhelming. So I'm just going to throw in the towel and get this. i got to clean up some of those rocks because that's as far as I could open the gate. But honestly, that's enough for um, the chickens and geese and everybody and just let them come in here and start feasting so that's a very quick garden update and i'm just gonna let everybody all the animals pig out Today is Monday. I've had the gate open 24 7 for all weekend now and I've seen the birds in here off and on but honestly I haven't seen as much activity as I'd like often there's nobody in here and I want to really clean this out and get prep it to start a fall, fall garden it's way late for starting a fall garden but there's still time maybe my zucchini plant still ha is showing no sign of zucchini. I kind of checked the corn. The birds ate a lot of the leaves and stuff off the corn, and the stalks don't look like they're really doing much. So I'm really going to just let the goats in here and let them pig out. Hi, Sarah. Oh, my gate doesn't want to open very well. There we go.
I just came out here to lock up the coop and um, when I locked up the garden to let the goats in, I honestly thought all the birds were out, but I was wrong. I've got one bird in here that I gotta figure out how to catch. <sighs> and then, yeah, she's upset. I'm gonna need two hands. Okay, I caught our poor chicken and I'm gonna put her in the coop and then I'm gonna lock everybody up. <laughs>